ஷாக் டெஃபினேஷன் ஷாக் இஸ் ஹைபாக்சியா அட் செல்லுலர் லெவல் தெர் ஆர் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஷாக் தட் இஸ் ஹைப்போவாலிமிக் ஷாக் கார்டியோஜெனிக் ஷாக் நியூரோஜெனிக் ஷாக் அனோஃபிலாக்டிக் ஷாக் அண்ட் செப்டிக் ஷாக் கம்மிங் டு த ஹைப்போவாலிமிக் ஷாக் விச் இஸ் ஆல்சோ த மோஸ்ட் காமன் டைப் ஆஃப் ஷாக் ஹைப்போவாலிமிக் ஷாக் occurs most commonly due to hemorrhage so hemorrhagic shock can be either concealed bleeding or revealed bleeding coming to the classification of hypovolemic shock there are four classes for hypovolemic shock and class 1 is when there is a blood loss of 0 to 15 percentage amount of blood loss is 400 to 500 cc it mainly occurs during blood donation and all the parameters here like the pulse rate systolic and diastolic bp pulse pressure respiratory rate etc remains normal the urine output of the patient also is normal here and the mental status is normal and the management is with just oral liquids and next coming to the second class that is compensated phase of hypovolemic shock here the blood loss is around 15 to 30 percentage there is activation of the sympathetic system hence the pulse rate increases and the diastolic bp also increases systolic bp here remains normal and respiratory rate is also normal urine output can be normal or it can be reduced the mental status of the patient will be that the patient is thirsty and anxious management here is via iv crystalloids that is you can either use normal saline or ringer lactate coming to the third class that is decompensated phase of hypovolemic shock here the blood loss is around 30 to 40 percentage and the amount of blood lost is more than 1.5 liters here the parameters of the patient like the pulse rate it starts increasing and systolic bp here starts falling hence the pulse pressure is narrowed the patient will be tachypneic and urine output will be significantly reduced the patient is confused and this stage of shock can be managed by using iv crystalloids along with colloids in 3 is to 1 ratio coming to the fourth stage of hypovolemic shock here the blood volume lost is around more than 40 percentage and the amount of blood lost is more than 2 liters here all the parameters of the patient like the pulse rate systolic and diastolic bp pulse pressure etc are unrecordable and the patient is extremely tachypneic with anuria the mental status of the patient will be that the patient is in coma and here this stage of shock can be managed by using massive blood transfusion